And this is this is a motion that Conservatives have put forward because an enormous amount of taxpayers' dollars is being spent in a process that involves replacement workers being brought in, and Conservatives are saying uh, we need to see the contracts. Uh, not just we as parliamentarians, but Canadians, the people we represent. We're here representing uh, people that have elected us, that have a right to look at taxpayer um, at how their hard-earned tax dollars are being spent. And what's been striking in the conversation at the committee up until now is that Liberals have been clear that that call for basic accountability uh, is in their in their eyes political games, right? The the very the very existence of a parliamentary committee process, looking for accountability, looking for information and documents, uh, is something that uh, they consider a political game, and that's um, and that's obviously just just nonsense. It's kind of the kind of nonsense we hear typically from liberals is that is that anything that we um, any time we're trying to hold the government accountable, uh, a government that's that's uh, you know clearly struggling in, in, in popular support, uh, any time we want to hold them accountable and get information to the public, they they diminish that as as insignificant or unimportant. Um, so we're we're saying we need to get these contracts. Now, the the Liberal member, Mr. Kuzmerichuk here. Uh, he made clear in his, his arguments that he doesn't think these documents should be provided. Mr. Souza uh, threw in that, that uh, oh, there's confidentiality involved and so forth. He doesn't, he doesn't believe Canadians should be seeing these contracts. So the, the Liberals have been clear about their position. Conservatives believe that these documents, Canadians should see these documents. Liberals believe that Canadians should not see these documents. And I, I think uh, the Bloc are, are with us uh, as well in saying that these documents should be seen. So the swing vote, uh, in terms of the outcome of this, uh, the swing vote is the NDP.